Hello, welcome to today's session on differentiation. In today's session, we will continue from where we left off in the previous session and we will try to learn few more new concepts and especially today's session, we will be focusing on how we can use some of the basic expansions, basic concepts in mathematics to solve differentiation questions. Okay. So coming to this question, the question is y equal to 1 by x minus 1 by x square plus 1 by x cube minus 1 by x power 4 up to infinity. Whenever you get up to infinity, few series you have to keep in mind. 1 plus x whole power minus 1. That I can write it as 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus x power 4 up to so or 1 minus x whole power minus 1 which is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube up to so. Right? So, these are the two main expansions which you will actually learn in uh, 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 these are the expressions which you will learn actually in binomial theorem. Okay? So, now here what is given here instead of 1 by x if I write it as capital X and then I take negative out. So, if I take negative out, what will happen? Minus of 1 plus x whole power minus 1. I am taking the first one here. Will be what? Minus x plus x square. Or since I am taking minus here, what will happen is. So, I am just giving negative on both sides. So, equal to I can write minus 1 plus x minus x square plus x cube minus x power 4 up to so on. Now this one if I take it to the other side this will be what plus 1 1 minus of 1 plus x whole power minus 1 is x minus x square plus x cube minus x power 4 up to so on. Now have a look at this instead of capital X what do you have here you have 1 by x right everywhere 1 by x 1 by x whole square and so on. So basically, this is the formula which I will use, which I derived from the standard formula in you. Instead of capital X, I can give it as 1 by X. So my question now will be 1 minus 1 plus 1 by X. That is your Y basically. So this is transformed to this using these concepts. So now I need dy by dx. Derivative of 1 is 0. Whole power minus 1 actually. Derivative of minus 1 means minus 1 into 1 plus 1 by x whole power minus 2 into derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square, right? Now let's differ, let's uh, simplify this. So this will be 1. What is this? I can take x plus 1 by x whole power minus 2 or x square by 1 plus x whole square is what I am getting into minus 1 by x. So, minus 1 by x square. So, x square x square cancelled. So, answer will be minus 1 by 1 plus x whole square. Third option. So, you see here we are using some basic concepts of binomial theorem which we will learn when we come to that topic. Standard expansions. So, in this way easily you can solve this. Now have a look at this question. Very interesting again. This is an infinite series question. I have told the logic in the last class again. So how do you do these kind of questions guys? So first you have to observe the pattern. Y equals to 1 plus A plus X by B plus. Again you have this right. So this is the portion again it is repeated right. There is a repetition or a pattern here. So instead of this can I write it as Y. So what will you get basically? y is now x by a plus x by b plus y basically. Now you can just simplify this. So this b plus y I can take LCM and take it up. So a b plus y into x will be the numerator. Denominator will be a into b plus y plus x. That is nothing but y. Take it to the other side. So y into a into b plus y plus xy equals to bx plus xy. Cancel, cancel. Now you can use dy by dx. You can find out by minus dou by dou x by dou by dou y of f. This entire thing will become f, right? Simple process. 
Only thing is the infinite series you are breaking down here. That is the logic which we are using. Next question. Now have a look at this. X is given. Y is also given uh, something in terms of uh, T. X is in terms of T. Y is also in terms of T. But look at this. Answer is in terms of X. Answer is not in terms of T. Right? So first thing what we can do is this portion there is something called as componento dividendo. What it means is suppose you have x by y equals to a by b then same thing you can write it as x plus y by x minus y equals to a plus b by a minus b. That means what the numerator we are replacing with numerator plus denominator in the LHS same logic with RHS the RHS you are replacing numerator with numerator and denominator denominator is numerator minus denominator so simple way of solving guys so we are getting x plus y by x minus y equals to a plus b by a minus b this is what we are getting so I will use the same logic for this right or I will use the same logic for this x right so what I will do is since y you have it as this let me take it as x by 1 right so x by 1 is what under root of 1 minus t square by under root of 1 plus t square correct so what I will do is I will add this up so x plus 1 by x minus 1 again I will add numerator with denominator I will subtract numerator with denominator I will reverse just reverse if you reverse what will you get if you take just take a reciprocal x minus 1 by x plus 1 equal to under root of 1 minus t square minus under root of 1 plus t square whole divided by under root of 1 minus t square plus under root of 1 plus t square now observe look at y y is what under root of 1 plus t square minus so this is what this portion is similar to y with a negative sign right so x minus 1 by x plus 1 is minus y now you can find out dy by dx very simple I can use a trick so how will you find out dy by dx guys so if you just want to find out dy by dx of this so I can write it as d by dx of x minus 1 by x plus 1 equals to minus dy by dx this looks like our trick right what is our trick here I can write 1 1 so this I can take, this I can take, this I can take, this I can take 1 into 1, 1 minus of minus will be 2 by x plus 1 whole square. That is minus dy by dx or dy by dx is what minus 2 by 1 plus x or x plus 1 whole square which is second option. Right? So this is one more very important property in mathematics. Component or dividend or again I am repeating says that if you have a numerator by denominator term in both LHS and RHS, LHS you can write it as numerator plus denominator by numerator plus denom numerator minus denominator, RHS also same way, right? So x minus y by a by b, if x minus x by y equal to a by b, you can write it as x plus y by x minus y equal to a plus b by a minus b. Now this is similar to the logarithm properties. We have done a similar thing in the first exercise here. So what you can do is e power log of 1 minus tan h square x whole power half I can write plus 3 power log of cot h square x minus 1 whole power half I can write because the power term I am taking it to the other side. So basically e and log 3 and log will get cancelled. So we are getting 1 minus tan h square x whole power half plus cot h square x whole minus 1 whole power half this is what we are getting guys so this is my y basically so I have to do dy by dx you know uh, secant square uh, hx minus tan square hx is 1 so 1 minus tan square hx you can do it in the same way you can just simplify so just simplify to get the answer easy Right, that is the only hint I give. So, look at the next question actually, guys. If x is less than 1, 
then what is 1 by 1 plus x? 2x by 1 plus x square, 4x cube by 1 plus x power 4. This is again a standard expansion which can be derived by differentiation. Which can be derived by differentiation. So we need to see. This is the standard expression again. So 1 plus x into 1 plus x square into 1 plus x power n. You can write it as 1 minus x power 2n by 1 minus x. So the hint is you have to take log on both sides. So I will take log of 1 plus x into 1 plus x square into 1 plus x power n equals to log of 1 minus x power 2n by 1 minus x. Simply, this is like log abc up to so on, right? So this I can write it as log of 1 plus x plus log of 1 plus x square plus log of 1 plus x cube up to so on, we'll get log of 1 plus x power n. That is equal to what? Log of 1 minus x power 2 n minus log of 1 minus x. Now you can differentiate on both sides. We will get it as 1 by 1 plus x plus this is 1 by 1 plus x square. This would be like 1, 2 again, right? Derivative of x square is nothing but 2x up to so on. Derivative of log of 1 minus x power 10 n is 1 minus x power 2 n into what is this now? Derivative of x power minus x power 2 n is minus 2 n into x power 2 n minus 1 minus derivative of log of 1 minus x is 1 minus x into derivative of minus x is minus 1 so minus into minus plus. Now what did he give? Last term is infinity right? It is up to infinity. That means what denominator infinity means 1 by infinity will be this term will be close to 0 right because the last term is infinity the nth term here, the denominator term will be infinity or this will be a very small value. So basically I am getting my value as 1 by 1 minus x which is third option. Right. So this part I have written it as 0 because this is a very negligible or a small value. This is a negligible or a small value. Now have a look at this, f of x is given as tan of pi by 4 plus tan x that is 1 plus tan x I am taking into tan of pi by 4 is 1 plus tan of pi by 4 minus x is tan of a minus b tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b. This is what I have expanded this actually. Right, this is my expansion actually. So this is I have expanded. Now how do you write tan pi by 4? This value is 1, this value 1. So I will take LCM. 1 plus tan x into this is 1 plus tan x plus 1 minus tan x. Whole divided by 1 plus tan x. 1 plus tan x, 1 plus tan x cancelled minus minus cancelled. So f of x basically is nothing but 2. Now g dash of f of x is saying basically they are asking us what is g dash of 2. Pretty simple guys. So g of x is x into x plus 1. g dash of x will be what? This is like uv derivative of x is 1 into x plus 1 I will have plus x into derivative of x is 1. So basically it will be 2x plus 1 but we need g dash of 2 because we got f of x as 2 right. 2 into 2 plus 1, 4 plus 1 so the answer will be 5 which is the third option right. So our catch here is what basically if you just simplified this part you got the answer pretty easy right. Only here, this is our catch, simplifying the f of x, simplifying the f of x to get the value and then you are differentiating and substituting, simplify, <coughs> differentiate and then substitute. Now this is like matrices, how do you find out a 3 by 3 determinant of a matrix? So just give plus minus plus, so what I can do is, I can just cover plus. This will be what x 
into what is this now basically I can write this as or other words what what we can do is instead of since you don't know matrices right so none of you know matrices right so we'll do something interesting here so suppose if you don't know matrices how to solve this right can I give ABC values what are the constants constants are ABC right so I can give ABC values so what I can do is I can give a value as 0 B value as 0 let's check what are we getting here x 0 0 0 x 0 0 0 x so if you get this this is called determinant actually in matrices this is also like determinant similarly delta 2 will also be the similar thing x 0 0 x so this portion if you want to get the delta it is just the multiplication of the diagonals this is called diagonal elements so this will be x cube same thing here this will be x square right so delta 1 is x cube delta 2 is x square we got right so now let's differentiate delta 1 that is what he is saying every option that is d by dx of x cube derivative of x cube is what 3x square 3x square means what x square you know it as delta 2 so you should get 3 times delta 2 second option answer done right so this is just a simple matrices based application guys now look at this this is a functions question very interesting again 3 times f of x minus 2 times f of 1 by x equal to x they are asking us what is f dash of 2 right so first what I can do is I can replace x with 1 by x so what will I get 3 times f of 1 by x minus 2 times f of x will be what 1 by x right so what I have done is I have replaced x with minus x now these are like two equations two unknowns right so I don't know f of x value right that is why I am doing this step so what I will do is I will rewrite this equation as 3 f of x I will write the same thing 2 times f of 1 by x that is equal to x here I will write it as minus 2 times f of x plus 3 times f of 1 by x equal to 1 by x now what I will do is I will multiply this with 2 I will multiply this with 3 and I will add what will happen 3 into 2 6 plus 6 so both will obviously get cancelled right what about this 2 into minus 2 will be minus 4 minus 4 plus 9 will be what plus 5 f of 1 by x that is equal to what 2x plus 3 by x right so this is f of 1 by x value f of 1 by x is what 1 by 5 times 2x plus 3 by x <coughs> now what if you need f of x value just replace 1 by x with x so wherever 1 by x is there x so this will be 1 by 5 times 3x plus 2 by x we will get so this is my f of x so I can do f dash of x f dash of x is what 1 by 5 derivative of 3x is 3 derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square so this is nothing but 1 by 5 into 3 minus 2 by 2 square is nothing but 4 1 goes half times so this is 1 by 5 into 6 minus 1 is 5 by 2 so answer will be 1 by 2 so this aspect this idea you will get it from actually functions chapter so this is the concept whenever they are giving a function and a 1 by x means what a reciprocal function the way you solve it is replace x with 1 by x so you will get two equations two unknowns are your two functions you are simplifying getting one function from that I am getting the original function once I get the original function differentiate substitute Now this one root tan y is this so what I can do is I can apply log on both sides log of root of tan y is log of e power cos 2x sin x so half I can take it out half log tan y this is like log a b what is log a b log a plus log b right 
log e power cos 2x plus log of sin x. So cos 2x log e is 1 plus log of sin x is what half log tan y. Right? So you can set 2 to the other side. Log of tan y is 2 cos 2x plus 2 log sin x. So now you can differentiate on both sides. How will you differentiate? Give it 1, give it 2. So I can write 1 by tan y secant square y dy by dx. This is 2 times derivative of cos 2x is minus sin 2x into 2 plus 2 times derivative of log is 1 by sin x into cos x. Just simplify, take it to the other side, you will get the answer easy. Okay, so what are we doing when we have complicated powers or when we have e power and a mix of both x and y? Just different, just apply log on both sides. You, your hint is to apply log on both the sides. Now we are coming to the next part. This is called higher order differentiation. That means what whenever you are doing for the first time, it is called dy by dx. When you are differentiating for the second time, it is called d square y by dx square. When you are differentiating for the third time, it is called d cube y by dx cube and so on, right? So now, first things first, y is this, x is this. So how do you write dy by dx basically? That I can write it as dy by d theta by dx by d theta. So I can write d by d theta of sin phi theta. This is d by d theta of cos theta. Derivative of sin theta is what? Cos theta into 5. Derivative of cos theta is what? Minus sin theta I am getting. Right? So this is a dy by dx basically. But here he is asking not only dy by dx, but you need to also find out d square y by dx square. Now can you tell me now, how do we get d square y by dx square? That means I have to differentiate again. That means you are doing for the second time. So 5 I can take out. This is cos phi theta by sin theta minus also I will take out. This is like u by v. But observe one thing here, right? This is like u by v. So derivative of denominator will be sin square theta. V into derivative of cos phi theta is what? Minus sin phi theta into 5 minus derivative of this is cos 5 theta into derivative of sin theta is what cos theta basically. This is what we are getting guys. And of course minus 5 is also outside it is there. But can I stop it here? No. There is an extra step because observe guys. Observe here. This is d by dx but this is theta right. So whenever we are differentiating into d theta by dx we will get because internally also we need to differentiate right so the extra term we will get is into d theta by dx into d theta by dx now where will you find this d theta by dx dx by d theta you know minus sin theta right d theta by dx will be what the reverse of minus sin theta so minus 1 by sin theta we will get so basically what I can do here is basically what I can do is I am just continuing my work here. So same process I can use minus 5 times so d square y by dx square is what minus 5 so everywhere minus is there so I will cancel that minus 5. So this will be 5 times 5 sin theta sin phi theta plus cos theta cos phi theta whole divided by sin square theta into d theta by dx. So it will be reverse right dx by d theta is 1 by sin theta d theta by dx will be what minus 1 by sin theta right understood right. So now you know d square by dx square perfectly you know. So 1 minus x square. So basically 1 minus x square is 1 minus x is what cos theta. 1 minus cos square theta is what? Sin square theta. Into this portion you will get. Into this portion basically that means what? Into this I have taken. So that will give us this complete value. So if you are doing that what is happening? Sin square, sin square is getting cancelled. Basically guys 
right what else can i take here what else can i do the second term is what x dy by dx what is x dy by dx so i can write minus x x is what cos theta again into what you have dy by dx is what into 5 cos theta whole divided by minus sin theta right minus minus again cancel so can i take the phi common i can take phi common right so if you take phi common what i will get is minus 5 sin theta sin 5 theta correct minus cos theta cos phi theta plus cos theta cos phi theta So minus and plus a you are getting cancelled. So what am I getting here now? And you have whole divided by sin theta as well. So sin theta will also go off. Minus into minus will be minus 25 sin phi theta. What is sin phi theta? That is nothing but y. So the answer is minus 25 y. So the only thing here is this is all simplification you can do. You are differentiating because unknowns are dy by dx, d square y by dx square. So first I'm doing dy by dx parametric form, then I'm doing d square by dx square, then I'm substituting, simplifying, cancelling, that's it. The only catch here is when you're second differentiating, since it is in terms of theta, you have to write into d theta by dx because that is our internal differentiation concept. This one I want you to do it as a DIY homework. Homework. Now itself, before moving on to the physics session for today, please solve it right away. Okay, so with this, uh, this question is also completed, right? Till 281 we have done. Now what I want you to do next 3-4 days is, from 281 to 375, you have the problems, right? In this, in between, don't solve differentiability continuity or any complicated problems okay we will take that later just try to solve the remaining ones as as many as possible right this is the first thing i want you to do the second thing is whatever problems we discussed this week i want you to solve again again solve whatever has been discussed this week right so if you are doing it then that means you will understand uh, differentiation better and we can move on to the next topic okay thanks a lot for joining the session guys i will see you again in the next class